you know, walking into the stadium, seeing the Yankee Stadium sign, you know, the whole building, you know, driving up to the field, you know, getting a step in the batter's box again, and, you know, and seeing all the boys. It's been, uh, it's been great and uh, really safe, so it's been good. How is it stepping into that batter's box after not seeing live pitching for a while? Oh, yeah, it's fun when you get to face one of the best pitchers in baseball, your first live since spring training, but uh, it felt good, you know. It's, you know, just obviously getting my timing back and, you know, getting at bats and, you know, having that baseball activities, you know, wearing cleats all the time, taking ground balls, you know, hitting in the cages and stuff and, you know, getting back in that routine. So uh, it feels good, though. I can't, you know, I can't wait to, to play tonight, you know, with our first game. So it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty fun. What is the anticipation like knowing that you're playing in an intra-squad game, the first game that you've played since spring training the first time around? Yeah, I, you know, it kind of when I think about it, I think it makes me think of like when I was in college, you know, we had to, you know, we were ramping it up, we were playing against each other, and it's the same thing. You know, you got a couple weeks to get things rolling, but, you know, I mean, the pitchers got to get ready, we got to get ready, and, you know, um, hopefully uh, we can figure out some couple hits in there, you know, feel good about our confidence, and, you um, but yeah, obviously, uh, um, you know, we want to get things rolling, obviously, because, you know, I think we're 17 days away, so it's it's going to be quick. But, you know, the boys have been working hard, you know, all through this quarantine, so uh, we're ready to go. Typically, how long does it take you? How many at-bats does it take you to feel comfortable at the plate and feel like you have that timing down? Well, I mean, this is different. You know, I, I would say, like, in spring training, you want, like, 30 or 40 at-bats. Um, you know, obviously, it's going to be hard to get with so many guys here. So that's why the machine plays a big part in my role with my routine. But um, I, I told our hitting coaches, I was like, oh, throw me out there as much as you want because I need to get as many at bats and, you know, try to build my confidence up, get my timing down. So I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take 100 or I'll take 25, whatever it takes. But um, I'll be ready. You mentioned facing one of the best pitchers of the game in Garrett Cole, your first time out there seeing live pitching. Do you think that's almost an advantage for you guys? Because when you look at the rotation and you look at the bullpen, you have a lot of pitchers that are above average. Does that help you guys in getting ready, facing the best right away? Yeah, hell yeah, it does. It's, it's nice to have those guys, you know, get us ready. I mean, who doesn't want to face the best pitchers in baseball to get yourself ready? It might be a little frustrating, but, you know, um, you know, I think I got I uh, I backed off one auto sliders. I was like, man, I, probably, I forgot how good his stuff is. But it's good to get back because I want to face the best stuff, see the best stuff to prepare myself. Because you know, that sixty games going to be quick. So I want to be you know full blown seat ahead. You know, right when we uh, step up, you know, on that first game, you know, July twenty third. So I spoke to Carlos Mendoza the other day, and he mentioned you as one of the guys that stood out. That he said, right now you look really good. Would you agree with that statement? <laughs> well, thank you. Um, but yeah, I feel good. Yeah. I've actually lost 13 pounds, so um, quarantine was good to me. I didn't put on 50 pounds like some people probably did, but uh, yeah, I feel great. I feel quicker, lighter, and uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, wanted to uh, really, really, really work on my defense this, you know, all this quarantine, my first step, and I just want to be a little quicker, and I feel like it's really helped me out. Um, still got my power, still feel good, and, you know, obviously I'm all healed up from the surgery, so everything's rocking and rolling, and, um, you know, I feel really confident right now. How did you do that? How did you slim down a little bit? Well, my wife's a great cook, so I get get to get that. And uh, I, we just doing a lot of cardio, working out five, six days a week, um, eating really, really clean, you know, no snacking at night times, you know, trying to be good on the weekends too. But um, yeah, just a lot of, you know, just honestly eating really clean and cardio honestly helped out a lot. So still doing the workouts. Don't worry, guys. But yeah, just a lot more cardio. <laughs> you joked about stealing some bags this year. Is it going to be a reality now? I still don't have one, so um, maybe, maybe, maybe I get one. Of course, I'd get one in a 60-game season, too, right? And I got 162 usually, but hey, give me a sign, Booney. 60 games in 66 days. Does that at all change your approach? Uh, no. My approach is still the same. It's just, uh, you know, I got to be ready. You know, I, I think one of the worst fears is guys, you know, showing up is you don't, feel like you're ready or confident and um, you feel like you're behind and that's why I want to take that whole you know three months that we had off to to be prepared and be ready for whenever that date was and you know we finally got it and I feel great so it's um, you know just getting as much work in every day as possible in these next you know three weeks is, is, is my biggest concern and you know being ready for that first game. Do you think there will be a different feel overall knowing that this year is now a sprint not a marathon something we've never seen in baseball before? 
Yeah, I, you know, it's going to be different. I mean, because some guys are going to, you know, kind of freak out, you know, usually get a couple, you know, you know, weeks of maybe slumping. But now it might be, you know, if you have a couple of bad games, some guy might, you know, take your spot, you know, so guys got to be ready. And, you know, I mean, these games matter. It's going to be like playing games in, in August, September. It's important games because there's going to be teams that are gonna make the playoffs that you wouldn't have thought because, you know, they came out hot and they, you know, won a couple extra games they shouldn't have. So it, it'll, it'll be interesting these first uh, couple of weeks of how the, the baseball part works out, you know, how guys are used, you know, starting rotation, six man, five man, whatever. And, you know, the, how the utility guys will be used, especially with the DH in both leagues now too. What's been the message from Aaron Boone since everybody's been back at the stadium? <laughs> um, it's go time. Um, he knows how good we are in this locker room. We've got a bunch of talented guys. Um, obviously safety is the biggest concern. Make sure you're, um, you know, staying away from, you know, as people as much as possible, you know, obviously you gotta have the, you know, you gotta go to the grocery store and stuff like that, but you know, just, you know, you know, uh, everybody needs to, you know, be responsible for each other and, you know, you know, man up and if call guys out, if they're not doing that, because we need to uh, be healthy. And, you know, if we lose a couple of big time guys, it'll, you know, really hurt us. And, um, you know, we just need to be safe, wear a mask and, you know, obviously, you know, just wash our hands as much as possible. And, uh, you know, stay away from, you know, crowded areas and stuff like that. So do you anticipate that being a problem at all for members on that team, self-policing and policing as a unit? No, our, our team's unbelievable. Uh, we got a lot of great leaders in our locker room. And I think that is the last thing that'll happen is some guys on our team, you know, going out and doing some uh, stupid stuff. So there have been some snags in the testing throughout Major League Baseball. Have you felt safe so far since arriving at Yankee Stadium? Can you kind of take me through the protocol you guys go through on a daily basis? Yeah, I feel super safe. And, you know, uh, yeah, so we show up. We have to get our temperature taken um, every day. Uh, and then every other day we're taking a saliva test, which is, you know, you guys knew that. Um, and then, you know, there's plenty of signs all around telling us, you know, what we can and can't do. We obviously wear a mask throughout the stadium outside of when we're on the field um, and, you know, in the weight room, but yeah, it's been uh, really good. The training staff has been really vocal and our coaches and, you know, we have, we have an app that we can talk through about stuff going on that we need to do more or less of. And um, they've done a really good job. And I know they got a lot on their hands. So I, you know, salute them on, on a great job. And, you know, I, I know they're going to do their best they can to keep us safe and, you know, credit to all the field and the staff workers are getting it ready because it looks great. And, it's, it's nice being back out there taking ground balls again, so it's good. What are you most looking forward to when it comes to the 2020 season? Uh, you know, the best part about being back is being back with the boys. Um, but I'm ready to win. I want to, as much as people are saying this is going to be a quarantine, you know, or a COVID championship, you know what? It's still a championship, and it's still going to be a three to four month grind of uh, who can win it and why not win it? Cause this will be the, always the one that everybody remembers cause it was just crazy time. So um, our goal is to win number 28 and that's all we're looking forward to. And, you know, I, you know, we, we can't wait to get this thing going and everybody's healthy too. So it's been a, it's been a better quarantine for us with, you know, getting the guys back too. Luke, thanks for the time and best of luck tonight.